Sponsored by Ram Trucks, built to serve. Oh, welcome back to First Things First. This is going to be a great conversation. Kawhi Leonard, not making the trip to Texas. Clippers Rockets tonight. Uh, reportedly frustrated, his knees flaring up. Nick, what do you make of this? Kawhi is an idea at this point, not an all-star, and the Clippers aren't contenders. Uh, they can't Not be. without him. That, I mean, they, they can't be. And right now, if you were to say contracts don't matter, salary doesn't matter, and it's, it's the, only for this season, there are 30 guys in this league I'd rather have than Kawhi Leonard. 30? He cut 30. I'll show you the names, and you, we don't have to go through them all, but here are the 30 guys. All of those guys. If you told if, if the Clippers could right now, just for this season, replace Kawhi with any of those thirty, they have a better chance of winning. Because Paolo make it. How how can <laughs> Paolo, Kate Cunningham, yeah. Well, many of those thirty the, though don't really change the Clippers. I'm not saying they're winning a Space. title with them. Right, right. No, no, no. I understand. But Ka- Kawhi Brew is talked about like he's still what he was. You know, three years last ago. Last time he was healthy. Last time he was healthy. But I, Brew, is, was this an ACL or an amputation? Like, what's <laughs> happening? Look, I, I, don't, I don't disagree with your 30. Because to be honest, any all-star caliber player or p- potentially all-star caliber player like Paolo, I would take right now over Kawhi. I mean, Ka- and you, you love Kawhi. I, right. Like, at this point. I cannot count on Kawhi Leonard. Now, let me say this, because I've talked to some people around the league about this. A f- half a week, a week ago, they or maybe a week ago, they were fearing, they thought it was tendinitis, the Clippers, okay? Now there's a fear that it's worse. Now, I don't know what that means. Does that mean it's still, he re-injured it? I, I don't want to say he re-injured it, but is it, it's just not fully healed, whatever. This is an 8 to 12-month injury torn ACL for most players. It's been 15 months since his injury. Now, I don't know if it's the physical, as in there's still a problem with the knee, or if it's mental in that Kawhi has, for the most part throughout his career, not wanted to play unless he's 110%, other than that contract year in Toronto mm-hmm. when he won the, con- won the finals and got a big contract. So, Nick, I, look, I can't argue this. This is a serious problem for the Clippers because you said it. Without Kawhi Leonard, they're not even close and to a Paul contender. George's banged up. All, you know, yeah, he, he, well, he, the but, strain but is getting on him. Of, he's Absolutely. had a lot of surgeries, a lot of injuries. Do you think it's weird that he didn't travel? Because he was on record earlier in the year, like, you know what, I do want to travel, but last year he didn't. Now he's not traveling here. I don't yeah, know it's, if it's, it's like an like altitude thing, like pressure he doesn't want, or he's just like prioritizing treatment. But it seems really bad. And here's the other kind of, this is not like a super fun thing to talk about. I have switched from, and I, I don't know if I'm early on this in like basketball media or fans, from sort of annoyance, because I feel like the, the attitude around Kawhi's injuries are people are a little annoyed. That like maybe you're not playing to hurt, you know, you're taking load management, all that whole thing, people are annoyed. I've switched over or crossed the bridge into like sadness a little bit. That yeah. like, oh, we're, what we're on the other side right? of this now. Like, are we never going to see this guy? I, I've seen right. more with Jack Harlow than I have with Paul George. With I started you. to feel, like, bummed out about yeah, it. Yeah, I'm more sadness. I get the feeling you're more annoyed. No, I, wa- no, I was annoyed with Kawhi a long time ago. When, with the load man. With the load man. San when he, the, the A few years ago, he took a game off before Halloween. And I was like, okay, we've lost the plot here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it was, I think it was third game of the season. It was load right. man. I'm like, give me a break. Right. But... Now, it, it, listen, you guys know me well enough, and I hope the audience knows me well enough to know, I have a deep, passionate love for basketball and the history of basketball. <clears throat> and he had a chance to be a historically unique and important player. I don't think he has that chance anymore. He's still an all-time great. Was he top 75? Yes. He was top 75 Which, uh, I and still deservedly think is legit. so. Right. I, it, absolutely I right. The two, I don't care about the first finals MVP, but the second finals MVP and yeah. the two defensive player of the year awards, that deserves put in there. But in, even in the games he's played, this year Kawhi Leonard has played 42 minutes mm-hmm. and has 25 points and 13 rebounds. He's done that over two games. It's, he's 12 and 6 
in 21 minutes per game in a couple games this year. Right. That's problematic. But is that, but is that who he well, is? That, no, is he I mean, just like an awesome if, bench guy? If he could – well, that's the fear going forward, that he may not be a full-time 35-minute-a-night guy ever again. I hate to say it that that's way. That's crazy. So let me ask you this, Nick, because I, yeah. I asked the annoyed yeah, go sadness go. thing. If he isn't that guy, you do you feel like it's his fault? I mean, or it's just no, like I a th- Grant Hill thing, like man. I think it's bad luck, but I think that I think that if you could go back and do it over again, maybe it would have served him better to play through some nicks and bruises earlier in his career and maybe his body Build or maybe power. listen, maybe the reason he wouldn't was he knew his body better than anyone and he knew he was, you know what I mean? Brittle in this regard. But whatever it is, it the Clippers, you know, the Clippers, Nets, and Lakers all came together in the same year. And the Lakers are the ones we make fun of. They're the only ones that accomplished anything together. And they got the, two years, ninety-four million left on this. Yeah, team. it's not great. After this season. After this year. After so this really, season. three years, a buck thirty-five, yeah. including this year. It's crazy. <laughs> hey, more first things first. After the break, talking Knicks medals and the Phillies. Not going back to Houston. It's going wow. back. Not going back. Wow. wow. Going Not going back. The Egyptian pharaohs, take that. <laughs> uh, we welcome you back to First Things First, brought to you by Alka-Seltzer Plus. Amazing fest. Cold and flu relief. Speaking of a team that needs some relief, Brooklyn Nets. Here's Vince Goodwell writing in Yahoo. Friend of the show. The dysfunctional Nets have only one choice. Trade Kevin Durant. Nick, is that the answer? Well, of course, that's where this is going to end up. Here's the thing. We know it's ending there. Do we? Absolutely we know it's ending there. This team is broken, and they are absolutely screwed pick-wise. Just for a quick reminder on where they at pick-wise. What they have incoming is Philadelphia's first-round pick in 2027, maybe. That's what they have coming in. Here's what they have going out. <clears throat> this year... Houston can swap with them. Next year, Houston gets their pick. The year after that, Houston can swap with them. 2026, Houston gets their pick. And the year after that, Houston can swap with them. So the next five years, they either get the, you know, their own pick or Houston's pick, or they just give their pick away. The Kyrie thing is not sustainable, and even you, the biggest Nets fan that we know, thinks that it's in play that the best-case scenario is that Kyrie's done after this year with the team, yeah. if he makes it through this year. Ben Simmons is not part of winning basketball in the year of our Lord 2022. And Kevin Durant, despite averaging a career high this season in points per game, at least prior to last night's game he was, the team's awful. You have to tear it down just like you did after the KG and Paul Pierce thing didn't work. It's the only hope. They're going to, for the second time in a decade, going to have to salt the earth after their super team was stillborn. Then That's if, what's going to happen. If they were going to tear it down, why not keep Steve Nash for now? Well, I mean, really. It was if if mercy. they were just going to give in on this season, then you could have kept no, Steve I'm Nash. I'm not saying they need to trade Kevin Durant today, but in, in two weeks. I think Vinny or, meant before the trade deadline. Yeah. Or, or actually soon, yeah, as soon as possible. Next, in the next month. Yeah. So what's the difference with trading him today or in because the next are, two weeks? Sean Marks is still trying to peddle this nonsense that they're going to get it turned around well, as opposed to I, blow what, a double what, lead to the Bulls. If line. I were running the Nets, I would believe that too. Come on. He, first of all, he's trying to save his job, Yeah. Sean right. Marks. All right. And you're bringing in, we think, reportedly, Ime Udoka, you, who basketball-wise, we know he's got the issues off the court, but basketball-wise is just what the doctor ordered. He can now. I'm not saying they're going to become the bad boy Pistons defensively, but coaches that focus on defense can turn Bro, teams around. How can you the say? Lakers were 21st in defense a yeah. year ago. Same personnel. They're third right but, now but, because Darvin Ham is emphasizing it. He's just what the doctor ordered. When we I, we can't gloss over the fact that he's the only coaching candidate that brings with him a media firestorm. And they're already in the midst of a giant media firestorm. And they don't have anyone to shepherd them through it. KD's been tweeting all day. And KD, when he tweets, I find him more likable. 